how do you talk to yourself? Is your inner talk loving or toxic? Unfortunately, it's the latter for most. That's why personal growth feels impossible for so many. The good news is what that voice inside your head tells you can be changed. This hypnosis session today is filled with empowering words that will replace those self-destructive thoughts you've been thinking for too long now. What you're about to hear is more true about you than possibly anything you've thought about yourself before. The combination of Abraham Hicks teachings, a peaceful hypnotic trance, and powerful binaural beats will make this so easy for you. Let these words brighten up your day and bring you peace of mind at night. Allow them in and watch them change your life experience dramatically. I'm so ready. Are you? Let's get you in a beautiful, relaxed state now. To get fully immersed in this experience, here is all you need to do. Sit or lie down comfortably. Make sure your body feels fully comfy and cozy. Now, gently close your eyes and listen to my voice intently. Loosen up any areas of your body that may still be tensed. Give this body of yours that does so much for you, day in and day out, it's well-deserved time to rest. And now, take a deep breath in. Hold that breath. And breathe out. Once more, breathe in. Hold it and breathe out. And a third time, breathe in slowly. Hold for a short while and fully breathe out. And as you do, relax all that stress and anxiety out of your body. And as you return to your normal breathing pattern, from now on, only allow that beautiful calm to be your experience. At this frequency you have now reached, there is no room for negativity, only soothing gratitude and endless positivity. Excellent. I'm going to count now from 10 down to 1. With each number you hear, drift twice as deep into trance and let that much needed relaxation wrap you up like a golden blanket of love and light. 10 9 8 Deeper down 7 6 Five. So calm, so still. Four. Three. So warm and comfortable. Two. So deeply relaxed. One. Perfectly happy. A 
as content as can be. Wonderful. You're ready. Ready to receive these empowering words. Ready to make them yours. Ready for them to be your reality. Everything is always working out for me. Everything is always working out for me. Things are always working out for me. Things are always working out for me. Everything is working out for me. Things are always working out for me. And since things are always working out for me, and since I know that things are always working out for me, then what other things would I like to define that I would like to be working out for me? Since things are always working out for me, then I want to begin to apply my attention toward the things that I would like to be working out for me. I want to define more clearly what things I want to be working out for me. What things? Not nebulous things. Not general things. What specific things would I like to be working out for me? What would really ring my bells? What kinds of things would really ring my bells? I would like to have a confidence about me so that when I'm moving through traffic, I feel guided about where to go. I'd like to have good timing. I would like to feel that I'm riding on a cloud or a magic carpet of momentum. I would like to feel the universal forces working with me. I would like to look into the world and have a sense of who I am. I would like to have a full sense of who I am. I would really like to be so integrated with the fullness of who I am that I'm accepting this world in the fullness of all that it is. I would like to look into this world and I would like to appreciate components that have been before, that have led to what is right now. I would like to live in a constant state of appreciation. I would like to be an uplifter. I would like anyone who comes into contact with me to benefit as a result of our being together. I would like to not feel bad when that doesn't happen. I would like to be in a place where I'm not at my best, where I'm not even close to my best, and not beat up on myself for not being at my best. Because I know that like the ocean, I have ebb and flow too. I would like to be completely accepting of myself and of everyone else. 
and I would like to trust in the law of attraction and the information that it gives to me. I want to be the being that I am born to be. I want to be in this physical body and I want to be all that I was born to be. I want to have fun and I want to have clarity and I want to feel energy and I want to feel good and I want to wake up eager for the day. I want to sleep good and I want to eat well. I want others to have that too. I'd like everyone to eat well. I'd like all the little kids to go to bed with a full belly. I'd like them to know how good they are. I'd like that. I'd like children to know their value. I'd like them to know it soon. I'd like them to know it now. I'd like opportunities to help them know it. I'd like to move around with them. I'd like to think about them. I'd like to shine that light on them. I'd like to speculate about that. I'd like to pretend that. I'd like to imagine that. I'd like to soothe myself with that thought. I want people to feel good. I would like people to feel so good that they never feel like taking guns and killing each other. I'd like them to feel that good. I'd like them to feel so good. I'd like people to know the value of who they are. I'd like that. I'd like to be in a place where I can help people know the value of who they are. I'd like that. I don't want it to come all at once, just one at a time. I'd like to tune into the frequency of who I am and spread the joy of who I am. I'd like to be consistently in my own joy. I'd like to be a catalyst to helping more people feel good. I'd like to be someone who's such a catalyst to helping people feel good that I don't even notice when they don't. I'd like to be so true to my vibrational frequency that anything that I want is flowing into me and anything that I don't want is flowing out of me. Understanding that there will always be contrast on the edge of what I'm living. That's it. I'd like to control my contrast better. I'd like to be better at inviting the contrast. I'd like the contrast to come in the form of a question to which I'm seeking an answer, rather than in the form of a problem to which I'm needing a solution. I'd like the problems of the world to be distant enough from me that I'm able to see them in an objective sort of sense. I don't want to be swallowed up in the problems. I want to be on the peripheral 
of the problems. I want to be out there on the edge of the problem, close enough that I can help define the solution, but not so wrapped up in the problem that I'm lost in the problem. I want my court to be near the surface all the time, if not bobbing on the surface, and never deep in the underbelly of the ocean. I want to be up there where it's easy to move, but even when I'm in that state of what could be called depression, I want to know that even then it's okay, helps on the way. I want to know that source energy is always flowing to me and through me, always flowing to me and through me, available at all times. And I want to feel all right about not being in the vibrational vicinity of it. I love knowing that Source loves me at all times, even when I'm not in the vibrational vicinity. I like knowing that that gaze is never taken from me. I love knowing that Source loves me at all times, even when I'm not in the vibrational vicinity. I like knowing that that gaze is never taken from me. I like knowing that pure positive energy has its gaze upon me at all times. I like knowing that Source is keeping Source's promise to me, and it is my intention to start right now keeping my promise to myself more of the time. I'm going to have way more fun. I'm going to look for more reasons to feel good. I'm going to take good care of me. I'm going to serve myself first and foremost. I'm going to tend to my vortex. And I'm going to do anything else I have time for. Well, I say I'm going to do that. I'm probably not going to do that. But it's going to be more alright with me when I don't do that. It's going to be alright with me more when I don't do that. I'm not going to set standards for myself that I can't keep. But I'm going to do my best to feel good more of the time. I'll have way more fun. I'm going to look for more reasons to feel good. I'm going to take good care of me. You are powerful creators. Today, You've come into closer alignment than you've ever been with who you really are. And we revel in that knowing, whether you know it or not. And we anticipate your discovery of the evidence of our knowing in the hours and the days that are before you. As always, 
we remain in the vortex, in your grid, in your mind, in your actions, in your behavior, in your inspiration. In the vortex, in complete and utter appreciation of the life that you breathe into all that is. There is great love here for you. In a moment, you'll be ready to return to your normal state. All the positive vibrations are merged within you. And for now, any questions or doubts that you had have been resolved. All is coherent and the path ahead is clear and ready for you. And I would like you to bring back with you all the knowledge wisdom, guidance, and inspiration that you have received during the hypnotic experience. Take a moment or two to ground yourself. Feel the blood coursing around in your veins, your heart gently and rhythmically beating, your eyelids feeling lighter as you become fully orientated to your surroundings. Good. Now, when you're ready, I am going to count the numbers from one to five. And when I reach five, you will be fully alert and wide awake. In case you'd like to sleep now, you can ignore the following wake-up suggestions and go into a restful slumber. Everything I've said to you has been heard by your subconscious mind and will be put into practice for you starting today. Ready? One. Two, three, coming slowly back, four, eyelids beginning to flutter, and five, eyes open, wide awake, mind and body returning to normal, conscious awareness. Take great care of yourself.